Good morning, everybody. Today we are getting the house ready to put up, be put up for sale. So I am cleaning and getting everything picture perfect so we can list it for sale. So here's what our bed looks like currently. Um, I usually never put the comforter on it because it's just a lot of work and I just don't care. Um, but here it is. There is the comforter on the bed. Everything is all nice and cleaned. And then you know, we've got the other side of the room over there. And so hopefully that will look good. Um, the other thing is, is we have our closet. We've got like everything out of the closet. There's a pillow down there, but pretty much everything is out of the closet right now and ready to go. So. There it is. For lunch, I'm making stuffed peppers and they're massive. Let me go show you. So massive. So we finally took the name boards down and put up pictures. So I think that turned out pretty good. Hi, Madeline. Do you like looking at the Christmas tree? Any length. Yes. I'm gonna try to make it blink or change color. Uh, yeah, it's right just above the. Oh, that did not oh, do what no. we wanted it to. Oh, oh there it goes. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh boy. She likes that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the tree all day long. <laughs> all right, so we are done with the um assessment basically to put my house up for sale there's actually a for sale sign in my yard right now and it makes me want to cry it makes me so sad to sell this house but at the same time it makes me really excited because i know how much money we're going to make off of this house with all of the improvements that i've done um, and i'll have to put together a little video to show you guys like the before and after of every single room but every room was a total gut job um, this wall actually was uh green and the bedroom used to be two bedrooms and they were pink and purple and Madeline's room was green. The bathroom was purple and the living room was purple. And they had carpets that were also green, pink and purple. And this floor was like this disgusting wood parquet floor. And like it's a little squares, but the squares weren't glued on the floor correctly. And they were like, they didn't line up. They were, they were totally crooked and oh my gosh, it was so bad. Um, so yeah, this house has gone through a lot. So, I mean, I bought it as an investment property and I'm making, um, a lot more than what my initial goal was. So I'm excited to sell it and get the money back and get a bigger house and all that stuff. But I'm also really sad to see it go because of how much work we've put into it. But right now I'm filling out one of these little papers that basically you just put, um, you know, what the house has, what it's done, if there's any problems with it, stuff like that. So I am currently in the process of doing that and I just don't even know what to do anymore with all the stuff. There's just so much stuff and um, somebody is actually coming to look at the house tomorrow. Um, it's not even online yet really, um, but somebody already has an interest in it and uh, so they're going to come look at it tomorrow. All right, so I'm here filling out this paper and I was thinking... Um, I haven't really ever done this like you guys see the house all the time um, but I've never actually done a house tour so 
would you guys like a house tour of my current house before I move out of it? Should I do a house tour like it is now or should I do a house tour when it's empty? Like, I don't know what I should do with all that. So, um, yeah, well, we'll have to do that. That would be kind of cool. Maybe I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. I was thinking about doing it just now, but I've got so much stuff to do that I just, I don't know how much time I have. And I know this vlog is probably going to be really short because I spent so much time um, working on the house and getting it up and ready for um, them to take pictures of it and everything like my sister took a lot of pictures but we spent a lot of time getting the house ready and then I spent a lot of time talking to the real estate agent to get it listed and um, signing papers and all that fun stuff um, so I know this vlog is probably not going to be very long so I apologize for that and I'm sorry if it's super boring but yeah so anyway I'm going to keep filling out this paper because it's needs to be done and it's just a blast all right guys so it is very dark in here and that is because Madeline is sleeping and I do not want to turn the lights on or the flash on or anything and wake her up she was having some really really bad stomach pains and she's sleeping and she's relaxing so that is good um, and hopefully she will sleep for quite a while and I guess we'll see um, let's see what else so I think that let's see i was showing you guys about the paperwork i had to fill out so i filled out all the paperwork it took a really long time there's a lot of really weird questions on there but i filled it all out it's good to go i put paperwork down about when i purchased the house i have my original paperwork from when i purchased the house what the house looked like what it was worth then and all of the upgrades i've done and when i did them and everything like that and um, i also put some paperwork down about the um security system that we have in case the new owners would like to take over the contract for that security system which please 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 let them do that because I hate the security system um, and maybe they'll have better luck with it I mean it's not a bad system I just I've had so many problems with our customer service and it's working great now the system's fantastic now that it's working I've just gone through so much with them to get it working that I'm just kind of over it so hopefully the new owners can take it over and then it'll continue to work for them um, and I think that's probably about it. We have to get up bright and early to leave the house so that these people can come look at it. And I feel really, really bad because Danny will be getting home from work around 2 a.m. and I'll have to get up at like 7.30 or 8 o'clock to leave the house so that people can look at it. And it kind of sucks for him, but I'm sure he'll be okay. And it's just part of the process that we're just going to have to put up with for a little bit while we can. So... Anyway, I am going to go to bed, get some rest, and prepare for tomorrow, so I will see you guys then. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, subscribe to our channel, find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye!